Welcome children, welcome to Refresh Concepts with me Dinesh Modi. Let's uh, head into the next chapter, Ratio and Proportion. Now children, uh, we'll see this particular chapter into two parts. In the very first part is what we are going to see ratio and in later on is what we are going to see proportion. Within proportion, we are going to see continued proportion also. But to start off with, first ratio. Let's children understand the meaning, the definition of ratio. Definition, ratio is comparison of two quantities of same kind having same unit. The moment I talk about ratio, children will have this idea, something upon something. Numerator upon denominator is what they feel ratio. Agreed. You are not wrong if you are thinking that ratio means numerator upon denominator. It's perfectly correct. But when I say numerator upon denominator, that means we are trying to compare. We are trying to compare two quantities. Main thing is, Comparison should be done with two quantities having same unit. That is what is very much needed. So say for example, if I say what is the ratio of 100 rupees? What is the ratio of 100 rupees to 150 rupees? You might simply say 100 upon 150, 0, 0 gets cancels off. We are left with 10 by 15. 5, 2 times, 5, 3 times the answer is 2 by 3. I'm not writing it out. I'm just making you understand 100 by 150. So ratio turns out to be 2 by 3. But what if I have to say, what is the ratio between 100 rupees and 5 rupee 50 paise? Now here it is 100 rupees on the very first side and the second side it is 5 rupee 50 paise. So either I convert 5 rupee 50 paise into rupees, which is 5.5 rupees. Or I convert 5 rupee 50 paise into paise and 100 rupees also into paise. So both the time it should be either in paise or it should be in rupees. I cannot, I cannot compare, I cannot compare in different units. The units has to be the same. So let's take two examples. What I have given over here, 2 liters and 400 ml. But prior to that, prior to that, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to tell you, when we say ratio, that means numerator upon denominator. In ratio, the numerator is termed as antecedent and in denominator, we say consequent. Within a ratio, the numerator is termed as antecedent, the denominator is termed as consequent, ratio is algebraically present as P by Q. Let's go further in comparing uh, two quantities. Comparison of two quantities of same kind having same unit. What, what's the comparison over here? 2 liters, 400 ml. Can I easily find out the ratio? Indeed not. So I need to convert either these liters into milliliters or this milliliter into liter. Choice is yours. Choice is yours. Given to me, what I'll do it, I'll prefer this liters into milliliters. Since, since one liter is 1000 ml, 1000 milliliter, what shall be the answer? Two liters is 2000 ml. So the answer is going to be 2000 upon 400. 2000 upon 400 gets cancels off 4 1 times 4 5 times the ratio is 5 by 1 or 5 is to 1. One more thing children. If I were to write down the units out here milliliter upon milliliter will that cancels off? So what we are going to keep in our mind ratio doesn't have any units. Ratio has no unit. Ratio has no unit. Just keep this in mind, children. Ratio doesn't have any unit. Why? Because when we say numerator and denominator, the units gets cancelled off. Thus, ratio will never have a unit. So the ratio of the first sum is 5 by 1 or 5 is to 1. I can say 5 is to 1. How about the second one? 4 years and 15 months. Either convert 4 years into months or 15 months into years. What is feasible? There are many who might say convert this 15 months into years. Yes, you can say so, right? But it's better to convert a higher uh, order to a lower one. So one year has how many months? Since you have to mention all these things. Since one year has 12 months. So what according to you? What according to you 4 years will have? 4 years is equals to 48 months and now the ratio is 48 months upon 15 months 
3 5 times, 3 16 times, answer is 16 by 5, again no unit, or one can say 16 is to 5, or one can say 16 is to 5. So what is the ratio children? Ratio is comparison between two quantities having same units. Two quantities of same kind having same units. In a ratio, the numerator is summed as antecedent, the denominator is summed as consequent, right? And we found out also ratio has no unit. These are the two examples whereby which we need to understand that if the units are not same, we make the units same. And then and then only we go for comparison and get the deduction or reduced form of the ratio, right?